<laughs> so damn, uh, Lou is back in town now. What I what I say about Lou? He came back to L.A. Now he didn't hit his son up, but I mean I don't know what it feels like to be a, a deadbeat. Like I don't know what a deadbeat does throughout the day. You know what I mean? Like. I guess he's getting his act together. So he's at a barbershop. I mean, he's just walking around the city doing Lord knows what. He never hit up Will. I really don't know what to say about Lou. Lou showed up and he talked about, man, I work for mine. I grind for mine. Anything you see me with, I, I work for it. It's like, all right, Lou, that sounds cool, man. Fix my taper, bro. We'll talk about We'll talk about <laughs> Like, Will, calm down. This is your dad, man. Lou ain't did nothing. Lou talk about hooping is in your DNA. Where you think you got it from? Lou was the MVP back in the day. Y'all know that? Back in the day, Lou used to do his thing. I mean, if we're being honest, what was Lou supposed to do? Was he supposed to call up, hey, Phil, can I come through and see Will? Like, how do you reintroduce yourself? Because the last time we seen them together didn't go good. Will really doesn't want anything to do with Lou. I mean, Lou can cut your hair, though. Shout out to my cousin Michael. You know what I'm saying? He do the he the actual barber on set. Season three, he back, baby. He back. You know what I mean? Like, what, what is he supposed to Hey, Will, what's up? It's Lou. I'm in L.A. now. Can I see you? Like, is he supposed to continue to try every day to see to see Will? Because Will doesn't want him around, but he wants to come and see him. And Lou is doing the right thing. He's like, listen, I made some mistakes. I'm trying to get me some money now. I mean, I don't know what to say about this. My father was in my life, so I don't mean, I don't know. Like, when my dad was gone for a couple months, it was like, oh, well. <laughs> Hopefully he come back. If not, man, shit, he just ain't going to be yelling at us. Uh, let me see. Well, the... See, all I got is these from when I was doing the recaps, but they got a job. They got a job. Who? Will and Carlton, really, they got everything going on as far as their connection, because now they're doing ideas. Will gave up basketball. Carlton... He messed up Princeton. He can't really get mad that Princeton backed out. Because, I mean, would you guys sponsor a recovering alcoholic slash druggie? Hey, Mo, we got uh, Carlton Banks here. Carlton, who? Yeah, he just got out of rehab. It's not a big deal. We we think he's recovered. He got a cousin named Will. I don't know. You talking about that, that skinny boy from Philly that shot a nigga? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I forgot what the uh, let me see where was the original place called? Will got that Prada tie tab on too. Will got that money. Where did Will and Carlton work in the original Fresh Prince? Uh, hold on, let me see. What up, Flacco? Yeah, I definitely like if I'm Carlton's sponsor, I'm not, man, I'm not supporting them. And then, um, uh, he, he worked at the Peacock stop. I don't remember where they worked at. But I remember he was the manager of the Peacock stop because then Will started working there and Will was just trying to get girls. So, oh, well, as, as far as Will goes with the tech, remember he met the the supplier's father, which was talking about, hey, I got connections at Google. So I guess they might they might get somebody from Google to make them an app. 
Oh, the Peacocks uh, stop or shop, whatever it is. That was on campus, though. That's when they went to UCLA. Remember, they were they were working on campus and Carlton was the manager. I was thinking of uh, Bel Air. I'm not Bel Air. Say by the Bell. No. Yeah, Say by the Bell. They had a season where they worked at a uh, they worked at a club also. It's all right, cause I'm safe by the. See, it's just so. It, this is on me, cause I don't know. I'm just gonna be jumping around tonight, cause it's there's too many episodes. So it's like I don't want to go episode by episode. I just wanna, I just wanna jump around, but. What? I don't even know what we're doing tonight. This is episodes one through three, man. All right, let me see something. Get, get your shit together, Mo. Carlton and Will, they get the job. They meet the tech guy. We find out that the other black guy, the manager, is like, hey, when you guys are on the clock, he actually had a tough life also. Look at this, though. Did y'all see this on the board? The Simply Spike Milk. Dog, look. There's a lot of stuff on this board that I didn't see in the beginning. What is the most random thing you see on this board besides Simply Spike Milk? I know you see it. I know you see it. This is the ideas that they were coming up with. If you look in the bottom right of the screen, look down here. They came up with reusable condoms. I just seen this. Like, what the hell were they thinking when they wrote this on here? Who put that on it? We got to go talk to the to the writers and the director. Like, hey, who put this reusable condoms on here? Do you know how nasty that sounds? <laughs> like, nigga, no one's buying that. Hell, niggas ain't buying regular condoms. You think they about to buy some reusable ones? You got to go wring it out, hang it up to dry. Hell no. Ain't nobody buying that. All right, I'm done. We're, we're not, hey. <laughs> oh, man, come on, Will. And they were presenting these ideas to, to Jeffrey, to Philip Banks. Remember, Ashley and Hillary both seen this board, too. So, like. Why? Because the Simply Spike milk was a shot at Simply Spike lemonade, which Hillary has had a little uh, influencer deal through, who is also sponsored from Bel Air. But shout out to Simply. They never sent me my boxes, you know. Uh, there was a moment we were campaigning to try to get on with Simply. You know, I was like one of the first people that was really knocking them things out the box. But Simply said, you know what? I'm too niggified to be a sponsor of their drink. So I said, well, I respectfully, uh, respectfully rescind my invitation to you guys to pay me to drink your drink. But I, I, I didn't I didn't see this at first. The only thing I seen was simply spike milk. And I say that in the damn. Episode off. They're going, well, let me tell you, the first 50 ideas that we're hearing from Carlton and Will, they don't sound good. Circled on the board, it says Simply Spike Milk. Well, that sounds terrible. That's because they're sponsored by Simply Spike Lemonade, a robotic fish. That yeah, I ain't even see the reusable condoms, but oh well. <laughs> All right, let, let's talk about this app, and we'll, we'll jump around with the relationships. What exactly is this app going to do? You know, they talk about we got a recovering junkie. Golly, you got bugs in here. We got a recovering junkie. We got an ex Hooper. What is this app going to do? Black Cess. Like, you just get on the app. You might as well just make an Instagram page and just put posts on there because I don't know if I'm downloading this app. What do I want to? 
I mean, I know that they say they're going to be donating back to black owned businesses, but. Where are the proceeds coming from? Are, are we donating to the app? Like what, what is the. What is the means behind this? Like you're selling merch. All right, I'll buy. I, I'll buy one of the shirts, but that's where it stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's about it. There, I'll buy a t-shirt. Let me see what else happened to Will. Oh well, you know the the typical. Uh, where's that? After the race, everyone is walking off. Well, what you thinking about Lisa versus Jackie with Will? And then Amira just became best friends with Lisa. Did we just become best friends? See, I don't. Lisa's getting mad at uh, at Jackie, but Will ain't even feeling Jackie. Will ain't even feeling Jackie. Will he with Lisa? Lisa has a promising career. Jackie's in the street. Jackie, man, she got different kind of daps with niggas. Like if I see a girl out there, doo -doo, like locking hands with a nigga, doing all this shit, I'm like, wait a minute, how cool are y'all? Like, are y'all kin kin or y'all this my kin? You know what I mean? Are you kin kin or this my kin? You know what I mean? When they say this my this my cousin, that ain't their cousin. My homegirl I was out drinking with, that my homegirl, I was stationed with her. She was in our first crew when we was out in Georgia, but that's different. That like, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a wingman right there. But I said, Lisa, oh my God, that language. But all of this is because of Aunt Viv. All of this is because of Aunt Viv, man. Aunt Viv is the villain of this series, man. Aunt Viv got, man, listen. Aunt Viv got all these girls. She know Will in here wilding out. Then she hating on Carlton. It's like, God damn, Aunt Viv, can the young niggas live? Carlton just got a rehab. It's been 90, 30 days. He ain't got no cutty. Aunt Viv cutting the cutty off, man. You don't cut the cutty off. You cut the cutty. You don't cut the cutty off. Then she getting Jackie a job. She then wrote Jackie a letter of recommendation. She then looked out for Lisa because she's the godmother. Then she then got Lisa a job. And I'm like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Come on, Bim. Now we all got to hear all of this. And Lisa's talking about, bitch, is that all you could do is shake ass and sell some T-shirts? I thought we was coming here to sell T-shirts. I didn't see, I didn't see her shake no ass. I seen her mysteriously get in the middle of the race and let the flag go. I was like, wait, how does she know all these niggas that she can do the race? But who who knows, man? I'm, 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 I'm not team either one of them. I'm team Ivy. Well, let me not say that because Chris Brown, my boy. So I'm team... I'm team a mirror. I'm team get turned. I'm team live life on the edge. I'm team a mirror. That's what I'm on. Yeah, I'm team Amira. We don't give a fuck about life. We live life a quarter mile at a time. I'm team Amira. Damn. Now, nah, am I team Hillary? Hell no. Nah. I was, but then she started messing with LaMarcus. And now she's feeling the broke nigga jazz. I thought niggas that ain't had no money couldn't get no loving. Jazz broke as can be out here in these streets. Jazz depending on minors to get him out of a gym. Hell no, nah, Hillary out here. Hillary didn't got Lamarcus killed, but we ain't gonna speak about that. <laughs> Hillary didn't got Lamarcus killed. Let me see what else we got to jump around, man. We got a lot to catch up on because I'm only going. I'm probably going to be here three hours tomorrow. I got to go pick up some stuff for the crib. Uh, well, they end up making it official. Uh, let me, oh, here we go. We got the showdown.
Who y'all think will win between Frederick and Will, though? We'll get into some theories. I just got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to jump around. I got to get warmed up, you know? I got to see where I can stick and where I got to move. You feel me? I kind of like Frederick's character. When I go to the UK, my bruv showed me love over there, man. The UK, if you ever get a chance to go to London, go to London, man. It's one of the nicest places in the world, man. I don't care what nobody says. I remember people telling me Paris was a shithole. I went to Paris for the fourth time. Lovely. No issues. None. London never had an issue in London. I love it up there. Those are my mates. Those are my bruvs. Now, Frederick, he getting money, though. He getting money, though. And you really can't knock him for hustling. That's what you do in the streets. When you drag race, that's hustling. No, we haven't seen Carlton. I mean, we'll fight nobody other than Carlton. We have seen Frederick was throwing them jabs. Frederick was in there boxing with uh with old Jeffrey. Frederick got some hands. That's why Frederick ain't backing down from nobody. I like I like that storyline. See, when I watch shows, I want to see the mysterious side, the mystique. All this love triangle stuff is cool. Ha ha ha. But no. Let's get real. If Lisa and Jackie ain't about to squabble, we don't want to hear them get into it with each other. We want to see the real. This is a drama. This is the dark side of Bel Air. This ain't the Bel Air of old. Were you walking around laughing, ha ha, and kiki? No. This is Bel Air. You got to get in where you fit in. Niggas is losing shit out here. You remember when Cali Carl was holding it down? You remember when the OG Cali Carl, he was living with that gang, and when he sat down on the floor, they put the mattress down for my dog with the pillow? That's what we want to see, that real. Real. Now, I don't want to see violence. I, I want to see... Put a five in the, in the chat if you want to see where Frederick's storyline is going. Frederick's storyline is probably like one of the most interesting line, like the stories that I'm following. Like Hillary and Jazz, that's getting boring. They setting it up for us. Um, Lamarcus concussion. He gonna be in a coma, uh, coma for a while. Jazz is gonna be around feeling sorry. You know, I really wanted to be with you, Jazz. Blah blah blah. We know what's happening there. I'm Viv and uh, Phil. She ain't been giving him no cutty. Blah blah blah. We know what's gonna happen there. So you gonna either get close to the chef and say, "I can't do this. I'm married," even though we don't like each other. Blah blah blah. Let's see what Frederick is on. Frederick is the new blood. Spice it up. Spicy, smoking. Yeah, five Fred with the shit. Fred with the shit. I like Fred's story. Fred had that money, and then he told Jeffrey, "Oh, I had to bail these niggas out, pops." Man, you know Will and Carlton came fight. Look at Carlton. Carlton over there itching. He was going through withdrawals right now. Carlton can't do no fighting. And then Will thought he was gonna step. Hey. First of all, I know I, this is part of Will's story, too. Did y'all hear Carlton talking about snitching? Carlton said, this is how Carlton was over there talking. He said, hey, mister, I think you need to go ahead and tell the truth. Trust me, it's going to be good for you. Because if not, I would hate to have to tell Jeffrey. That nigga looked at Carlton and Will said, nigga, y'all want me to tell him y'all were drag racing when 25 minutes ago, everybody in the chat was going against Mo saying that, oh, drag racing is cool, Mo. Drag racing is you that took the money. Well, if that's the case, then why are they scared to tell Uncle Phil we was out there drag racing? Why are they scared to tell Uncle Phil they were drag racing? I thought drag racing was cool. We saved 
hey, Uncle Phil, we made $30,000, $35,000 actually, and we didn't get a dime from it. We saved Jazz's store. Why didn't they go just tell Uncle Phil that? Oh, because Jag Racing was wrong because they were minors, right? Because it's dangerous, right? Oh. Mm. Frederick got the one up on him. Bang, bang, bang. Let's see what Frederick got. Yeah, I'm on the phone making calls, Will. Yeah, I'm on the phone. I heard about you up in Philly. They was up there whooping your ass. You had to go get a gun, didn't you? Yeah, man. I'm from fucking South London, nigga. From the bricks. Come over here talking now. I was like, okay, I like Frederick. I like Frederick's story. Nah, this Carlton said the same thing. This Carlton said, man. Carlton said, hey, you should tell the truth. Believe me, it's easier. Like, shut the fuck up, Carlton. <laughs> Ain't nobody about to go tell, hey, I've been robbing niggas. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I like the show, though, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I like the show, man. You know, I'm just talking my shit. I got to make it entertaining. I got to make, I got to, I got to take the show to a nine and a ten. They gave us a, a solid seven to paint on. Paul's on the solid end with the seven. But they gave us a they gave us a canvas. And they said, Mo, do you throw that artwork on there, Mo? I said, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let me see. All right. So we got the Frederick thing. We don't know what the hell he got going on. We know he's up to some funny business. I think he's messing with the, the old gang that his dad was with. Uh, let me see. Will really didn't have, if you really think about these three episodes, Will doesn't really have too much going on. I mean, he's working. He got the business, him and Carlton trying to juggle him and Lisa, uh, him and Jackie haven't really got that close. So as of right now, it, I mean, all of this a build up. Of course, we're not expecting everything in the first three episodes, but overall, Cool, you know what I mean? I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think, was there anything else Will like really did? We covered him in jazz, Jackie. Yeah, I mean that that's like that's really it for right now. Well, him and Lisa, they made it official. What other major issue did Will have? That that was pretty much it, wasn't it? Let's see what Will got. The business, quit basketball, Lou, Jazz losing the uh, the company, getting into it with Fred, the girls. Yeah, that's really all Will got. So that's cool. That's cool. That, that, that's a cool little start right there, though. Now, there's some people that are going to play. What do you guys think about this lady? Is she she might actually be able to help Yolanda Porter? Now I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to see what it said for her. What up, Brillo? Yolanda Porter, Los Angeles City Council District. I think it says District Eight, South Los Angeles. We deserve better. Join our movement as your city council representative. My primary focus will be to restore the pillars of the community. So if she gets elected. Will and Carlton help Jazz out. She'll probably promote the app. She might do like interviews with them. She might be saying, hey, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these two young gentlemen up. They got an app. They're giving to the local community, especially the black owned businesses. So I think Yolanda is going to come back and play a part a little bit later on. Because remember, she said that Jazz's Charlie's Vinyl is like the, the pillar of the community. It's been here and it's one of the only things that's actually lasted. Now, uh, young champ, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Uncle Phil pulled out of, no, she's running for council. Uh, Phil was running for, what was Phil running for? He wasn't running for council. What was Uncle Phil, there was Uncle Phil running for? Uncle Phil. Season one, Bel Air campaign.
Yarma Crawl. Damn, that was a long, long ass time ago. Oh, district attorney. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, he, he's not into politics anymore. That's why he ended up remember he was in his law firm and then they they went separate ways because they were they went they wanted their own they had their own vision and then Philip was like fuck it well I'll start my own and that's why they had that partnership with Erica so that's where that was I knew he he was done with it I mean sometimes I, I mean We'll, we'll talk about it on Uncle Phil's story. I mean, that, that's pretty much wheels. But I think Yolanda's going to help out with the Black Sess, uh, the app. Hey, we're going to do this for the black people. So I see what they're doing here. You know what I mean? We're keeping it about. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. Got my bad. It's the right fist, my bad. We're keeping it. We're keeping it black. Black and black. Black and black. All right, cool, 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 cool. So that's cool. I think Yolanda's going to help out in the long run. Um, what else? I think that's really it for Will. And then we can all we always double back. We'll talk about like the race on his own little incident because that was that. It was entertaining. Now I didn't. When we were watching the trailer, I was asking who do we think is going to be racing. So it was both of them in the like. <laughs> Tag team and the handbrake is kind of crazy. <laughs> you drive, I hit the handbrake. Hey man, don't touch the handbrake while I'm driving, bro. I'll I'll handbrake that motherfucker. Like this nigga talk about on three, one, two. That nigga called to go hit the shit. Like nigga, I ain't even hit the goddamn corner yet. We would have ran into the car, fucking around with Cali Carl. All right, man. Lamar got CTE. No, Lamar is dead, man. He gone. R.I.P. Man. <laughs> nah, all right, so that that's good for Will. Let me see. We are gonna get us a little drinky drink. We are gonna get this thing started, man. Right now, I ain't the normal me, man. You know, I'm I'm kind of shy right now. I'm nervous. I really don't know what to say. But I'm gonna go grab me one of these Trulies, and we're gonna be right back. And uh, let me know who we're gonna talk about next. And we're gonna, cause we're gonna go in depth a little bit. I just wanted to give like the overview of Will, and then we'll double back because we'll be throwing Will into everybody's storyline, except for Hillary. Hillary and Will don't really have any interaction this season. Nah, they definitely don't. But yeah, give me, give me, uh, give me like Linda. I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna run back to the main house. I'm gonna go to the main house, boss. Is this cause it's all right? If I get me a drink, sir. Go get you a drink. You're permitted one drink. I'm against two, sir, because I put four in there. Just get two. All right, bet, because you're still cutting. All right, I'll be, I'll be right back. Carlton, Ashley. We'll, we'll talk about Ashley because Ashley's story is shoot, two minutes. Ashley, writing music, it's over with. Nah, I'll be right back, though. Give me a second. 